Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add an audio player above your site's header here and this will appear on every page. And it's an active audio player, I've just uploaded an MP3 to it. Really easy to do. I'm using the basic 2020 theme here that comes with WordPress, but this will work with most WordPress themes. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is go to the page editor here. And if I refresh this now, that header should disappear. There we go. So let's go to edit page. And what we need to do is add an audio player to our page here so we can get the code. So I'll just hit the little plus to add a block. There's an audio player there. If you can't see one, just select common blocks. I think it's in common blocks. There it is right there. Okay, now it's giving us uh, the option to upload or just go to the media library or insert from a URL. I've actually got one in my media library, but I've just uploaded it the usual way. If you hit the media library button, there's my little audio test right there. So I'm going to grab that and select it and insert it. And there's our audio player. Now what we need to do is get the code for this. And to do that, it's very easy. What we need to go do is go up to the little three dots here on the right hand side of the page, click on it, and go down to editor and select code editor. And that will show us the actual code for the page. And if we look down here, here's our audio, WP audio. And there's my little audio test file right there. We can select all of this and just copy it. Control C to copy. Now I don't really want to keep this audio player on the page so we can go back, let's go back to visual again. Three dots to the visual editor. Hit the little three dots and remove the block. Great, so we can update our page and nothing will have changed there. Now to embed this above our header here, let's go to our dashboard. We actually have to go down to appearance and theme editor. Now you may get a message up saying that be careful what you do here. And it's really important, if you're not sure what you're doing, don't do this. Or the best bet is to make a copy of your header PHP file. Now the file we want down here, if we look down, is the header PHP. And like I say, most WordPress themes are going to have this. Now it look, might look a bit strange because this is PHP code. But if we look down, we've got our head right here. That's not where we want to put it. Just below that, we've got the body. And just below the body, we've got a PHP command to open the body. Just below that, you'll see our header, which is the site header. And we want to put it above our header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click just after the PHP there. Go down, a bit of space. And I'm going to create a div. So it's a, a left pointy and write the word div and a right pointy bracket. And it'll do the closing tag for you. There's the one I've written and it, there's a closing one. The only difference is it's got a forward slash in front of the div. And the reason I'm putting it in a div is so we can add a bit of style to it in a minute if we want to customize it. Now you've got that in between the two divs, the opening and closing there, just paste the code that we copied for the audio file right there. When you're happy, hit the update file. Like I say, if you're not sure what you're doing, don't do this. Make sure you've got a copy of the file because this can break your site. But if you just look here and here and make sure you've got your divs, it, it's absolutely simple. Okay, so it says file edited successfully. Let's go back to our page and preview it. And as you can see, we've now got an audio player above our header. Here's our header with the logo and the menu right there. Make sure it's going to work. Yep, that's working fine. Okay, that's great. 
but I don't think I really want my audio player to stretch the full width I'd like it to sort of be in the middle round here somewhere so let's go back into our header PHP now here's our div and the reason I wrapped it in this div is first div up the top there or the opening div after the V I'm going to hit a space and I'm going to write style style equals and open and close some inverted commas in between those inverted commas we can write our CSS style so I want to give it a bit of padding each side to shrink it down so I'll say padding colon and top and bottom I don't want any so I'm just convert zero and then the next one I'm going to say perhaps 25% each side 25% and a semicolon to close it out let's save that file edited successfully and the actual CSS I'll put this below if anybody wants to use it I can't do the divs because of the pointies because of the pointy brackets it doesn't let you put that down there but I'll certainly put the CSS down there okay now we're saved let's go back to our page and refresh and there we go we've got 25% padding each side and the color behind it is the default color that's set for the theme and now you can change that in the the theme customizer there or we can just write a bit more CSS for it now because we use percentage 25% each side left and right when you view it on a mobile and shrink down it'll still have 20% each side rather than if you do a pixel value it'll have the same value so if we want to inspect it I'll hit the F12 I'm using Google Chrome here let's, let's pull this down a bit I'll hit the responsive device toggle and as we shrink down you'll see that it remains 25% each side so we're good to go now if you want to change this background color here let's get it rid of our inspector here we can write it into the styles or you can go into your theme customizer and set the default color for your site and let's go down to our styling code right here style padding after that little semicolon and in front of the inverted comma right there just write background whatever color you want I'm just going to go ahead and put in black you can put it in a hex code or whatever color you desire and semicolon there and update the file great now let's have a look at our page and this background now should have changed to black there we go and that's how easy it is to embed, embed a player in above the header of your site now you can use an iframe if you're streaming from somewhere else you can put the iframe in there just simply get your embed code and put your embed code where the actual audio player is here or in between the two divs and that'll work absolutely fine too now like I say this should appear on all pages I'm not sure if I've got any other pages there we go and as you can see it's on all of our pages so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.